Dark Alliance, Gary Webb, Rick Ross. I'm the real Rick Ross. Today, there's a new epidemic, smokable cocaine, otherwise known as crack. I, I will tell you, Director Deutsch, as a former Los Angeles police narcotics detective, that the agency has dealt drugs throughout this country for a long time. The CIA used him as a pawn to sell drugs to help fund the secret war in Nicaragua. These guys coming out and talking about how the CIA is the one that sparked the crack epidemic, that the, the CIA was flying these drugs in. This is something that is going on, and it's a serious matter that needs to be looked at and dealt with. You should not be punished for standing up and doing the right thing, and the fact that our country is going to discharge this soldier, this hero, and turn their back on him when he did the right thing, that shows you what's going on right now. You need to wake up, open your eyes, and see that our country is doing evil, dirty things. It's not all glamour. It's not all glitz. It's not as patriotic as you might make it out to be sometimes. Now, yes, I am a patriot. I'm a former U.S. soldier in the Army, Staff Sergeant Roger. But at the same time, there's a lot of bad stuff going on, and I'm not going to sit back and keep my mouth shut and my eyes closed. I'm going to sit here and talk about it because it's the right thing to do, and we have to bring attention to this. I'm Joe Biggs with InfoWars.com. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade, bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. Introducing the first proprietary oxygen-based intestinal cleanser, OxyPowder. Backed by real FDA-approved phase one, two, and three clinical trials. People are suffering from all kinds of digestive issues these days. All the toxins from the air, the food, the water, ultimately ends up in the gut or affects the gut. My main focus was to come up with a remedy for this, something that's safe and effective that anyone can take on a regular basis to keep their intestinal lining clean. My recommendation is to clean your intestines at least two to three times a week to prevent the toxic buildup from going into your bloodstream. Take your health into your own hands and start cleansing your body today with Oxy Powder. Secure your Oxy Powder today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Welcome back. Do you remember when Detroit, Motown, was the economic engine of our country? No longer is that true. Detroit lies in ruins, killed by regulation and socialism. Now the vital center of the country is Silicon Valley. And the big three are pretty much history. Ford is still around, but the other two are gone. Now we have Apple, Google, Tesla, and Uber fighting to control the transportation control, uh, grid of the future. And they're going to build, believe me, a transportation control grid. We see yet again the Uber CEO saying that he wants to own all cars. There won't be any individual cars if he has his way. Perhaps we should take that Photoshop of Hitler in the VW uh, bug and Photoshop the Uber executive in it because that's what he wants. Uber all A's, transportation. It's going to be a control grid. You're going to be relegated to being pedestrians as a few elite billionaires ride around in their supercars like these billionaires in Beverly Hills did. Migrant, immigrant, illegal alien, any way you slice it, it all adds up to the same thing. 
foreigners fast-tracked into countries with no knowledge of how that country's culture and laws apply to them. But not all of these people belong to the fleeing masses streaming across European and U.S. borders. Recently, these scumbags from Qatar decided to drive their exotic cars at top speeds around a quiet Beverly Hills neighborhood. of stop signs, kids riding bikes, people strolling around, speed limits. When the police were called, the Cutter Nationals, who could have easily driven their cars to the nearest racetrack, told the police to go F themselves and claimed diplomatic immunity. Journalist Jacob Rogers says he tried to ask this man why they were racing and endangering lives. Get out. Do you have anything to yeah. When Rogers tried again another time. And he said, well, F America, and he threw a cigarette at me. And um, that was before he indicated that he could kill me and get away with it. Beverly Hills police were called to the scene, but no arrests were made. Investigators say they're now trying to confirm whether any laws were broken and are looking into exactly who the drivers are. Police say they're from the country of Qatar and may have diplomatic immunity. Meanwhile, President Obama is announcing a plan to bring in 70,000 this year 85,000 next year and 100,000 Syrian refugees in 2017 to America. A veritable treasure trove of potential false flag, anti-Christian, America-hating chaos. While Qatar and other Persian Gulf states, just a stone's throw away from Syria, are offering to take in zero refugees from Syria. I wonder if Madam Winberg would agree with me that Saudi Arabia and the Gulf states should be doing more to set up camps in Turkey uh, rather than displace large numbers of people. That they should be helping their fellow Muslims. I think it's a disgrace that they are not doing more and that Britain is doing more than any of them. I wonder if she agrees with me about that. The United Arab Emirates' only defense is that they gave $530 million in aid, which is just a drop in the bucket compared to the UAE's GDP of $570 billion per year. Saudi Arabia's insulting solution is to blanket Germany with 200 mosques to meet the needs of the flow of Muslims into the most populous destination for immigrants, second only to the United States, Germany, a country with a strong Christian base. It's not going to be just the poor, unwashed, and huddled masses seeking shelter from the globalist-funded ISIS storm. Prepare yourself to see more idiots like these. Disrespecting American values, disregarding our laws, and getting away with it. Let's get out. Do you have any get to f- out? John Bound for Infowars.com. Now, of course, it's not just Uber's move to get autonomous driving cars. This is going to be coming at us very quickly. It was announced today that Apple is going to be rolling out their car as soon as 2019, but there are mandates coming from the federal government, from the Department of Transportation, that will require our cars to talk to each other. When popular science covers it, they say now cars can yell at each other when traffic gets bad. But you know what they're going to be doing? They're going to be talking to the government about you and to insurance companies so they can raise your insurance rates, so they can tax you by the mile, so they can give you fines. It's going to be a total surveillance grid. We've had that in many different areas. People are finally starting to push back against that with email and other surveillance. John Bound has that report. privacy you expect in emails, contacts, notes, and even location data has been easily accessible to civil law enforcement agencies like the Federal Trade Commission and the Security and Exchange Commission for decades. The Electronic Communications Privacy Act of 1986 was signed into law by President Reagan on October 21, 1986. Title I of the ECPA, or ECPA, was intended to protect wire, oral, and electronic communications while in transit. 
Title II, known as the Stored Communications Act, was intended to protect communications held in electronic storage, and Title III prohibits the use of pen register and or trap and trace devices to record dialing, routing, addressing, and signaling information used in the process of transmitting wire or electronic communications without a court order. However, the law is so ancient that government agencies have been mining it for years, and the provisions in Title II only apply to stored emails up until 180 days. After that, your emails are fair game. The cloud has also created a new treasure trove of data related to every detail of your existence. The NSA's $2 billion Utah data center has been gobbling up every individual's information and storing it for pre-crime, surveillance, and a blatant criminal exercise of violating every American's Fourth Amendment rights to create a culture of submission. Now... Utah Senator Mike Lee, along with Senator Patrick Leahy and Representatives Kevin Yoder and Jared Polis, are spearheading the ECPA Amendments Act. The act would require law enforcement to acquire a warrant to gain access to your private information, regardless of how old it is. And the government bureaucracies would be required to notify unsuspecting Americans that their privacy was breached by Big Brother within 10 days. Policies that should have been set up 30 years ago. Of course, Big Brother isn't going to go down that easy. Uh, five years ago, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Sixth Circuit found the contents of email was fully protected by the Fourth Amendment, regardless of its age. And that's effectively become the rule nationwide. Major service providers no longer turn over the contents of emails or texts without a warrant or a legitimate warrant exception. The ECPA Amendments Act simply, as Senator Lee knows, we simply codify it current practice. Now, some have raised concerns the bill would hamper civil regulatory agencies, such as the SEC. Well, we want these agencies to be effective, but there's nothing in our Constitution that says only certain agencies have to follow the Constitution, others don't have to. On behalf of the SEC, concerning the Electronic Communications Privacy Amendments Act, pending before your committee. I share the bill's goal of updating ECPA's evidence collection procedures and privacy protections to account for the digital age, but the bill in its current form poses significant risks to the American public by impeding the ability of the SEC and other civil law enforcement agencies to investigate and uncover financial fraud and other unlawful conduct. I firmly believe there are ways to update ECPA that offer stronger privacy protections and observe constitutional boundaries without frustrating the legitimate ends of civil law enforcement. The SEC's tripartite mission is to protect investors, maintain fair, orderly, and efficient markets, and facilitate capital formation. Our Division of Enforcement furthers this mission by investigating potential violations of the federal securities laws, recommending that the Commission bring actions against alleged fraudsters and other wrongdoers, and litigating the SEC's enforcement actions. A strong enforcement program is critical to the SEC's efforts to protect investors from fraudulent schemes and promotes investor trust and confidence in the integrity of our securities market. The New World Order detests our God-given liberty. Consequently, they also have no regard for law and order. And in the face of a nation increasingly craving liberty, Congress's assumed access to our private lives should be revoked as it is clearly violating our Bill of Rights. John Bound for Infowars.com. Well, that's it for tonight's news, but join us tomorrow. We're going to have live coverage of the Pope's Church of Climatology tour throughout the U.S. It's going to be on the radio show as well as the nightly news.